I think Venues Day and the bigger concept of uh, the Music Venue Trust is a, is a work of genius. And I think Mark and Bev have done something that I think people would have said you couldn't do because they, they often joke about working with musicians is like herding cats. Working with small grassroots venues, uh, curators, owners and operators must be like trying to herd scared mice because we're all in our own little en enclaves, right? We, we spend 90% of our time just doing the one thing that we've got the time to do, which is run our venues. We haven't got time to kind of go above the parapet and see what other, other people are doing. So it, it takes and it took somebody to bring us all together and uh, I remember the very first day at the Purcell Room, the first uh, venues day, um, just being amazed that everybody speaks the same, we're a tribe and we're all doing our own little thing but actually cumulatively we're, we're able to share an understanding of this challenging world we're in and, um, and realise that we're not alone. So I think at the very least, at the very minimum, it's building a community. But secondly, of course, we become a voice. We become a single voice of many people, and that was always the challenge before. If we had problems with business rates or or um, unhelpful councils, I couldn't go to the government and say, "My name's Tony, and we've got some challenges. Can you help us?" But as a body, hundreds of us can be represented by one voice that speaks for the same message, which is, "We have problems. They need to be addressed. Let's do something about it."